Hi everyone. This here is my beautiful friend Koa. She's eating some cookies right now. So we are actually just hanging out in the park today. One of her most favorite activities to do is squirrel watching. <laughs> so we're currently sitting under a tree watching a squirrel. And Miss Koa here is enjoying some snacks. So Koa and I have known each other for about eight-ish months. We did some private training together and then I've been working with her on building her confidence and her um, leash manner skills for the past six, seven-ish months. Um, took us a long time to get where we are currently at. When I first met this sweet little lady, um, she was very shut down. She would not even come near me. She is a rescue. We unfortunately don't know much about her history, um, but she has blossomed and has really come out of her shell and is getting a little bit more social. So other than mom and dad, there's me. And then there is a, another friend that has another dog that she's accepted into her social circle. And this little lady loves going to breweries and out to dinner and hanging out with her parents. So we've worked a lot on confidence and just feeling safe in a world that she has historically felt very unsafe in and building that confidence and trust with people. So yeah, <laughs> when I first met her, there was no way she would even sit this near to me. And now sometimes if I'm lucky, I get a little bit of love. So this is just a really good example of some dogs can take a little bit longer to warm up and come out of their comfort zone and come out of their shell a little bit. So, but with a lot of love and a lot of patience, I'm just providing consist consistency and clarity and reinforcing that positive relationship and helping her learn that she is safe she is okay. We will never push her to do anything that she's not comfortable with. We will just go at Koa's speed and Koa's speed only. And that is okay. And then eventually, you have what can be a beautiful relationship like this. So, I would consider Koa and I to be pretty good friends. Yeah, pretty good friends. But guys, this is just a important lesson in meeting your dog where they're currently at. And we can have very big goals and expectations for the type of dog that we want and the things we would like to be able to do. But a lot of the times you gotta work with what you got. And we don't always get the dog that we hoped and dreamed for. We get the dog that we need, right? Yes we get the dog that we need. So, I guess the biggest takeaway from this is patience is key. Clarity, consistency, compassion. Always work on building that relationship. Take your cues from your dog. If your dog's not comfortable with something, just be like, you know what? I don't have to do that today or tomorrow or even the next day. We can do that another time. And that is totally fine. Because here at Get Sit Done Dogs, we are all about building relationships and partnerships. And most importantly, becoming friends with your dog and becoming a safe space for them. So, this is Koa and Casey signing off. We're going to go see if we can find some more squirrels. Have a good day, everyone.